apparently it's recording, and I didn't know that. Um, anyways, this is Alex. It is May 2nd, 2011. Um, I know I just made a video earlier today, um, but I said I was going to make a video when I got my binder in. So, that's what I'm doing. I got my covers on the seat. Um, so, ordered my binder um, from a company in Taiwan. I only ordered it Thursday or Friday, and it's already here. Um, so, it's only like four or five days travel time, um, including Sunday. So, I have it on right now. It is the Onek from Double Collection, or My Double, or, you know, Double T, whatever it is. Really gotta take those off, because there's way. Um, and so, this is it on. Um, of course, the video quality is bad, so I don't know really how much y'all can see. Um, so this is with it on. Um, this is what it looks like. It's uh, white. And the bottom of it is like a dark gray. Um, let's see here. It does Velcro. No, this side it does Velcro. It has a little gap right here. Um, I paid eighty-four dollars for it, shipping and all, and I really don't know if it was worth it. Um, the problem is, as I've stressed before, is that one side is bigger than the other, and even if I go down and out. It, just doesn't seem to look right to me because that's from that side and that's from this side so this side it, it doesn't look that bad but then there's this side which is bigger and this side of my body sticks out further um so that's that I'm gonna throw on my other binder and that way I can give you a comparison um I probably need to put on like a white shirt or something I don't know I'll just use this shirt so uh here it is on it's, I mean, it's pretty nice, um, design-wise. The edges here are just kind of, I don't know how well you can see that, they're just kind of plain, and the neck, which is the best part about it, is an O-neck, so you can, you're supposed to be wear it on, on, wear, you're supposed to be able to wear it under a polo, um, which I might actually have one to throw on in here. Um, and so, I'll show you what that looks like, and if you're skinny enough, you can probably get away with wearing it under a button-up without buttoning your shirt. Um, and if you have smaller boobs or chesticles. Um, so, you know, like under this polo it doesn't really matter because the neck comes up pretty high. But I could still wear it as an undershirt. See, it, it looks nice underneath there. Um, let's just do this. And so this is with the polo on. Um, and again, see this side's great, but it's this side that's giving me problems. So, I'm going to throw on my Underworks binder. And, uh, see, like this does on Velcro. But we're going to get off camera now because I'm a pretty hefty guy and don't want to be showing off my chesticles anyway. So, give me just a minute to switch. And I don't know how to pull off my recording, so I just got to deal with this. Um, and while I'm doing this, just to mention, the uh, binder size that I ordered was an extra large, uh, based on the measurement of the smallest part and the widest part across the nipple, and then subtract the two, I'm a 41, um, or average the two, I think. And, uh... So, I'm a 41, which is the upper size of the extra large um, from the Taiwan company. And so, I went on the, uh, I went with the extra large instead of the 2X. One, because it saved me money, I think. And two, because I figured I didn't need it to be any bigger. So this is the underworks. Now it's black, so you can't really see much. But this is from what I consider to be my good side. And this is from my bad side. No, that was backwards. This is my good side that uh, binds flatter. And I'm sorry if you can hear somebody talking in the background, but our roommate's really loud. Our sweet mate. Um, we can hear every phone conversation she has. It's great. So, uh, see? Um, so with the same shirt on, the red shirt that I had, this is the underworks. And, uh, so here it is from the front. Again, I don't know how good the video quality is. I don't know what you can tell, but this is from the bigger side. This is the smaller side. 
Um, and I really don't know which one is better. Like, I only paid $34 for this one, but I think it gets me flat. Um, do you have your binder on? Do you have yours on? Where is it? Try and find it. Um, I do have a medium underwear that I randomly steal from Celia. Um, if she can find that, I'll put that on too to show you. Um, but this is the large. Oh. My phone? Oh, she found my phone. That's good. Um, so this is the large Underworks 997, I believe, which is the double front long version, obviously. Um, I mean, it's, it's pretty, I don't know, I think it's just as good, if not better, than the $84 one. Um, I thought the other one would be better because of the Velcro. Um, okay, well, we can't find the other binder, but, um, so this is what this shirt, if I put on the polo, they probably can't hear me when I'm talking when I'm taking my shirt off. If I put on the polo, I don't know what you can tell with that on, too. It might have helped if you do some white shirts. White shirts probably would have been better. So this is with the polo on. And, uh, it's one of the polos that Celia got me for my birthday. Um, so this is the bigger side. The smaller side. So I really don't know. Can you give me my phone? Um, I really don't know which one's better. And... Can you send her a text? Um, we constantly have to send her text messages to tell her to shut the fuck up. Um, because she yells. And she puts her phone on speaker and we hear everybody, so that's my side rant. Um, so I really don't know which binder I'm going to stick with. I might just return that one because I can't really justify spending $84 when I don't think it works as well. Um, I mean, just looking down, I think that this one, wouldn't you agree that this one looks better? So... That's Celia off camera, of course. Um, so yeah, I can't really say I have too many great things to say about this binder um, that I just got, except that it is a lot more comfortable. It's a, This is the inside of it. The material is a lot softer. It's a uh, Lycra material, Lycra, something like that. Um, double Design Co. MyDouble.net is the uh, website, MyDouble.net. Um, and it's a very, I mean, they nice little tag inside of it. The logo, like, there's no logos on it except for the front left chesticle side. There's two T's. Um, but, so nobody can really see that. If you want to wear it as an undershirt, they're not going to immediately, you know, pin you as a tranny. So. Um, but that's it. This is my video on that. Um, I did make a new STP type thing. It's still drying. But basically what I did is I took the same concept of the medicine spoon and latex um, and basically added on the, med the eyedropper tip like with my other um, STP. And so let's see if it'll focus on that. Maybe. Yeah. So there you can see that it's latex. And I literally, I stuck that medicine spoon part right over the latex and it fit and then I just super glued it. And the thing about that is, is that the way it's made, you know, I've got that angled tip, and so that way maybe whenever I pee, I can get a little bit more force out of it. Um, I also think it'd be better inside of the uh, catheter, just because it will keep, it'll keep the hole the same size all the time instead of me moving the catheter and it, you know, covering it completely, like I can keep this part stick, stuck out of it. Um, so I'll let you know how that works. I'll post pictures and specs and everything on my uh, WordPress, possibly. Um, so yeah, but, but it's time to run to Walmart because I'm about to kill her if she doesn't stop talking so damn loud. Um, but anyway, so yeah, that's my new binder and my new STP idea. So, questions, comments, post them.